first of all, OCT is a very um, sensitive tool to measure and monitor retinal neurodegeneration um, and axonal damage and loss of retinal ganglion cells. They are both cross-sectional studies and longitudinal studies that have clearly shown that there is progressive retinal tissue loss, of course, subsequent to a clinical attack of optic neuritis, but also in eyes that have not been previously affected by optic neuritis. So it's a broad marker of neurodegeneration. Um, what we do not yet know is how we can use OCT to um, inform treatment decisions. As I said earlier, we use MRI surveillance uh, together with the clinical status of the patients to make treatment decisions, but whether we can incorporate OCT into this treatment decision algorithm as an additional tool, so to speak, is not yet fully clear. The technical advances in the field are, first of all, optical coherence tomography angiography, so OCTA, that images the vasculature of the retina, and there are first papers out now showing that there is an association with optic neuritis, perhaps also with other MRI findings. The second um, direction of research goes into the field of AI. So how can we use um, artificial intelligence to um, disentangle disease um, mechanisms and also features, subtle features in these retinal images that are not visible to the eye of the observer? And how can we use these AI algorithms to improve differential diagnosis of, for example, multiple sclerosis with optic neuritis versus other causes of optic neuritis, such as NMOSD or MOGAD? And how can we use AI tools to, um, again, monitor the course of the disease.